Okay, so some examples of HDE positive that you may have drawn or could have drawn. And this is a universal symbol, um, is for recycling. So recycling reduces waste, and that's something positive that humans do to the environment. Another ex positive example of HTE might be, and this is very relevant considering the, the weather that we've been having, is when we water the plants so that they can grow. Now, I need to turn my paper over, I don't know about you, but if that is you, you need to turn your paper over to the back and then once again, fold the left-hand side to the right-hand margin. And once again, draw a line right down where you folded. And we're gonna take a look at now H to E negative. So now we need to look at something bad that we do to the environment. And once again, I'd like you to pause the video here and draw and or write a couple of examples of H to E negative. So maybe an example for H to E negative that you could have drawn, and this is something that has happened on our campus this year, because I remember hearing and I'll call from Mrs. Braddock and Mr. Ball. Um, for those of you that litter, you don't actually have your trash make it into the trash can. And when you litter, that is negative for the environment. Another one that would, another example that might be H or that is H to E negative is the fact that we do cut down trees so that we can use them for our own use, whether it's to build houses, to make paper, whatever. And when we cut down trees, that is negative for the environment because we are changing the environment, we're altering it. On the left-hand side, now we're going to flip around what we've been looking at, and we're not looking at H to E anymore, we're now looking at E to H. Positive. So now you need to think of two examples and write and or draw something that the environment does to us or for us that is positive. And once again, I'd like you guys to pause the video while you write and or draw your examples.